So we discussed shoppable images in the last video, but if we recall, that's all that they are, they are, are hot zones on the image that we can set aside so the shopper can click on and actually add to cart. And all of this is a pretty tight API integration into the e-commerce system. And it's all fine and dandy, but the really cool part about this uh, integration uh, for localization is the fact that we can now reuse this banner um, and and basically localize it for all of the different areas of the the world that we're trying to do so we have this localization workflow that we can actually localize all of these strings so i'm just going to go ahead and drag this into the localization workflow we're going to pick an automated translation type you could do manual uh, which is part of some manual process, or you can actually use APIs and call out to a service uh, to localize your content. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna try and localize it across all these images uh, live right now. So let's go ahead and start this. And you can see we're thinking we've got five pending and it'll take a little time. And you can see now all of them are done. So if we look at the Japanese one, we can see that it was translated and we could come in and just look at this and, and see, oops, that's not what we wanted. Uh, we could come in and now look at this under the different variants uh, that we created and see the Japanese version. So let me go ahead and close the control room we can look at this here. So it did properly translate uh, the, the actual product and localized the currency for the actual image. So what we can do now is we can get kind of slick here and we can replace this with something a little bit more appropriate and just easily move all of the uh, all of the text to the left keep it centered and now for the hot zones we just simply redo them to the new the new image and that's pretty simple so you know once again we have shoppable image localization, pretty slick.